Welcome to FarmGrow. In this presentation, we will see cleaning validation basic requirements as per Schedule M. Validation of cleaning procedures should reflect actual equipment usage patterns. If various APIs or intermediates are manufactured in the same equipment and the equipment is cleaned by the same process, a representative intermediate or API can be selected for cleaning validation. This selection should be based on the solubility and difficulty of cleaning and the calculation of residue limits based on the potency, toxicity and stability. The cleaning validation protocol should describe the equipment to be cleaned, procedures, materials, acceptable cleaning levels, parameters to be monitored and controlled and analytical methods. The protocol should also indicate the type of samples to be obtained and how they are collected and labeled. Sampling should include swabbing, rinsing or alternative methods, for example direct extraction as appropriate to detect both insoluble and soluble residues. The sampling methods used should be capable of quantitatively measuring levels of residues remaining on the equipment surfaces after cleaning. Swap sampling may be impractical when the product contact surfaces are not easily accessible due to equipment design and or process limitations, example inner surfaces of hoses, transfer pipes, reactor tanks with small ports of handling, toxic materials and small intricate equipment such as micronizers and microfluidizers. Validated analytical methods having sensitivity to detect residues or contaminants should be used. The detection limit for each analytical method should be sufficiently sensitive to detect the established acceptable level of the residue or contaminant. The method's attainable recovery level should be established. Residue limits should be practical, achievable, verifiable and based on the most deleterious residue. Limits can be established based on the minimum known pharmacological, toxicological or physiological activity of the API or its most deleterious component. Equipment cleaning or sanitation studies should address microbiological and endotoxin contamination for those processes where there is a need to reduce total microbiological count or endotoxin in the API or other processes where such contamination could be of concern. For example, non-sterile APIs used to manufacture sterile products. Cleaning procedures should be monitored at appropriate intervals after validation to ensure that these procedures are effective when used during routine production. Equipment cleanliness can be monitored by analytical testing and visual examination where feasible. Visual inspection can allow detection of gross contamination concentrated in small areas that could otherwise go undetected by sampling and or analysis. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel to watch more videos related to pharmaceutical industry.